Lord God, thank you so much for for another day na binigay mo sa amin as brothers. Uh, truly, um, this family is awesome. It is created by you, Father God. And uh, yes, truly, God. We, we enjoy it, Father. Enjoy the uh, the the brotherhood and also we enjoy the the lessons that uh, uh, you taught us, God, sa pamagitan ng mm-hmm. uh, iba't ibang lesson na pinikid sa amin. Uh, I believe na you use them. Yung mga uh, author ng mga books uh, yep. for us to learn more and to lead as brothers. Please uh, use me in the most powerful way sa pag-share ko ngayon. Maganda. Thank you so much. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come on, Rocky. Amen. Okay, so last time, um, senior ni Ed yung ano, ano yung uh, the way, uh, yun, yung, uh, commandment. But it's about commandments. It was shared by Ed. So ito may karugtong ko. It's still, uh, naka, ano pa rin doon sa lesson na yun. Um, um, it's about the commandments. He, he talked about, um, he talked about uh, yung uh, loving God, the commandments, the, the greatest commandment, which is uh, uh, love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. Mm-hmm. And also, you love your neighbor, love your neighbors as you love yourself. Okay. Meron na akong um, ito, uh, isishare na no, um, poem, no? Galing sa isang uh, poet na, no? Ito. Babasahin ko lang. Uh, ito yung The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. Sabi dito, Two roads diverge in the yellow wood and Sorry, I could not travel, travel both. And be one traveler, long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth, then took the other as just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and wanted wear. Though as for that passing there had warned them really about the same and both the morning equally lay. In leaves not, uh, no, uh, no step had trotted black. Oh, I kept the first for another day. Yet knowing how way leads on the on two way, I doubted it, I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood. And I, I took the last, uh, the, the one last traveled by. And that has made all the difference. So ito pala yung, ito pala yung nagmula yung ano, no? Uh, the road less traveled. So parang sinasabi niya dyan, nahirapan siyang kumili kasi kasi parang uh, ang tatahakin niya, parang grassy, and um, he believed na parang walang masyado dumadaan dito. So, nagda-doubt siya, pero tinili niya pa rin yan. Okay. Sabi dyan, to put your heart into something is much more more challenging than going through a checklist. So, we must look for God outside a checklist, outside the box. To love God requires heart and desire by, uh, ito sinasabi ni Curtis and Elred, you know. Um, totoo naman, no? To put your heart into something is mas mahirap no yung kaysa yung checklist ito um hinalin tulad ko to no sa isang pagpunta sa isang grocery di ba pagka inutusan ka ito bilhin mo to uh, boy bilhin mo to uh, kaya asawa mo bilhin mo to hanin gito ha ito ang lista hindi ka listahan asa ni listahan okay once na meron ka ng checklist no you go by the list even without checking or scrutinizing the item you you're buying ba Ah, uh, ganun tayo, 'di ba, mga boys, parang tingnan lang natin checklist. Okay? Tas kuha na ng kuha. Diba? Very mechanical tayo, no? But if you go for something you desire to have, you are excited to go. You really pay so much attention. Okay? Ito raw, to love God requires heart and desire. Parang sinasabi ni Stephen kanina, no? Pagka desire niya 'yung ano, 'yung pagandahin 'yung kanyang ano, And I believe 
talagang sasadyain niya yan. Yan, paglalaanin niya yung oras, ba? Um, di niya isip yung presyo. <laughs> Sabi ni kanina, di ba? So, kasi, he desires for it, di ba? Ganun daw dapat ang um, uh, intention natin kay God, no? Dapat, meron siyang heart, may desire. Hindi lang yung parang checklist. Kasi, um, pag checklist kasi parang ano eh, parang um, as Christians, we can also have parang checklist lang, no? parang gawin lang natin to uh, as an obligation. Uh, minsan wala sa heart natin. Diba? Um, I believe sa atin may mga iba't ibang responsibility sa church. No? Katulad ko, I have a responsibility sa church. I'm a Bible talk leader. I'm a worship, uh, worship team leader. But sometimes my heart is not there. Kasi I just go by the um, parang checklist lang. I just go by the um, pagiging mechanical. Now let's uh, uh, let's see to another. Parang ay mag-move. Yun. Where do, find, where do we find God? What uh, would God look, look like? Where would His presence reside? Ayun. Uh, let's read in First King, chapter 19, uh, 11, verse 11 to 12. No? Sabi dyan, the Lord said, Go out and stand on the mountain in the presence of the Lord, for the Lord is about to pass by. Then a great and powerful wind tore the mountains apart and shattered the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake, came a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire came a gentle whisper. When Elijah heard it, he pulled his cloak over his face and went out and stood at the mount of cave. Okay? Katulad ni Elijah, most of us would expect to see God sa yung mga obvious things. Like in the wind, the earthquake or the fire. But sinasabi niya, wala pala doon si God. Okay? Ito pala sa gentle whisper. Okay. God isn't found in the wind in the, or in the earthquake or the fire. He is present in the quiet whisper. Nung time na yun, no? nung time ni Elijah. No? And sabi rito sa book, no, my Hebrew pro- <coughs> professor James Durham said that the Hebrew behind the phrase quiet whisper could be translated as silence that was so silent that it could be heard. God was there in the silence. Those who follow the way of the heart find God in the most unexpected way. Unexpected places. Tama, no? Kasi, um, katulad, katulad nung ano, yung mga sinasabi na the road less traveled. Okay? Um, kasi mga tao, nandun sa road na ito yung usual din na daanan. Pero yung daan na parang unusual, wala masyado dumadaan doon. Pero um, if you try to pass by it, maybe you could discover something. Diba? And uh, yun ang very uncommon, no? yung uh, uh, blessed traveled road. Ito. Uh, saan doon natin makikita si God? No? in varied places uh, in silence in silence in a wonder uh, novel by walking in the woods or sitting in the sun in playing by playing by with a child by read, reading poetry by writing a journal by listening to music by taking a nap by staring at a baby by, by talking to a friend by helping a neighbor by trying something new by living in the moment by meditating on the bible by working in your garden by holding hands with a loved one by looking up at the stars, by watching the clouds pass by, by eating, by eating a Krispy Kreme donut, by watching a football game, by looking at a photo album, by taking care of a sick child, by losing security, by struggling with the death of a loved one, by being still before the Lord, by being consumed by God. So, even in these places, in this situation, we can find God. No? It's just about the intention uh, of finding God. Kasi 
we have to desire God, sabi nga. It's it's about desiring. Hindi yung parang um, ang check uh, by going going through a checklist, which is checklist kasi parang uh, yun yung obvious na nakikita na. Pero what minsan, di ba, we are going some, we are also uh, getting something outside of the checklist, di ba? Ay, okay pala to. Hindi ko sinama sa checklist. Ha? Pala, ha? may maganda rito ang ano. That's um, sometimes ganun din ang paghanap natin, ang, ang paghanap natin kay God. Then, uh, yun. God is in everything. He is a part of everything we do. We must develop a consuming love for Him. So, ganun dapat. Consuming love for Him. It's really a deep intention no, to find God. When asked with, uh, what is the greatest commandment? Jesus answered, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. This means that we must be consumed by our love for God. Kasi, Ba- bakit ginawa uh, sinabi ni Jesus Christ na yun lang ang command greatest commandment love the Lord your God with all your heart soul, mind, and strength and then love your neighbor um, as you love yourself kasi uh, if, we love, if we love God with all our heart soul, mind, and strength gagawa tayo ng paraan even yung mga unusual things no? uh, hindi yung parang um, love God by just going to church um um, having a quiet time, no? Ganun ang common iniisip natin. We must redefine our love for God. Instead of ought to love God, kailangan kasing mahalin si God, no? I'm going to desire to love Him. So desire dapat. Hindi yung parang, kasi, kailangan daw, kailangan kasi si God mahalin. Eh. But, that I have to love God. I, I desire to love God. Gusto ko siyang mahalin. Instead of do, 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 I'm going to be B, B. Instead of a checklist, I'm going to focus on the relationship. Let's have a consuming love for God uh, with all our, uh, our God and love Him with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Okay? And then, let's ask ourselves, do we love God? Okay. Yun. Um, bilis lang, ano? <laughs> so, so that's it, uh, brothers. Uh, we, we, ang challenge sa atin is ano, ano? Let's go outside the checklist. Let's go outside the box in loving God and finding God. So sometimes God can be found in a road less traveled. And sometimes he, he can be found in the places where we less expect. Uh, um, akala natin God will be found lang sa pag umaatin tayo ng church or um, uh, umaatin tayo ng devotional, umakanta tayo. Sometimes we have to discover the places where God can be, can be found. No? Like yung kanina, ba? Maybe by helping someone who is in need. Okay? And there you can find God. Maybe by uh, reconciling with the uh, with someone na uh, meron kang uh, conflict, okay, you can find God there. Good. So that's it. I have a question. No? Uh, what are our spiritual checklists that lessens our desire for God? <laughs> so yun, uh, may mga spiritual checklist ba tayo na nakakabawa sa ating desire for God kasi nakapokus tayo sa checklist. How do we show our desire for Him? Which areas in your life that you believe God came unexpectedly. Uh, mga area ba sa buhay natin na parang tingin natin na doon dumating si God unexpectedly. So that's it, uh, my brothers. Uh, God be all the glory. Isa send ko lang yung question uh, sa, sa ating uh, GC. Na.